How's everybody doing? It is February 27th. I'm about to go diving. It's late in the afternoon, about 2.30. Our plan originally was to head to the Victoria area, maybe uh, the island west coast, but uh, the forecast was really nasty. A lot of wind last night, a lot of rain too, so that usually messes up the visibility. So we're getting a late start. Uh, Cal's meeting up with me right now. I'm excited to get in the water. I didn't dive last weekend, but it's family day. I have my mom over and my stepdad and uh, Clayton and Jenna came too. They helped me uh, paint my house. So it looks really good on the inside, a lot brighter than it used to be. And this morning I decided to sleep in a little bit and had some furniture uh, to set up in Sailor's room and around the house and doing a bunch of Craigslist runs in the mainland and bringing furniture back here. Uh, but yeah, we are going to scout out a little spot in Departure Bay, pretty close to James Island, a uh, little rock pile. Probably nothing spectacular, but a place I've wanted to check off the list for a little while now. So uh, Cal's meeting up with me and we're going to drive out there together and take a peek. Alright, so we just got here and the visibility is looking really nice. Uh, it's been surprising considering all the wind that came in through the uh, uh, bay here. But we might try diving those docks and then probably swim over to those islands, those little rock piles, uh, scout out there. I always love these spots because I might find some treasure, aka bottles and other miscellaneous stuff. What are you thinking, man? I think it's good. These type of spots I save for days like this. Places that have potential but are also a gamble. I don't like wasting beautiful days where I expect good visibility on exploration missions. Cal lost his Mako free diving fins after a dive a while back. If you ended up finding him, reach out. Luckily, he had a backup set. Well, kind of. Uh, so much for good fins. <laughs> yeah, it's like greed. We had to swim a little ways to the rock pile. Luckily, the current was obsolete. The fins might not have been great, but the sky was beautiful. We found a wall dropping down to roughly 12 meters that was covered in anemones. It was pretty awesome and had already made the dive worthwhile. We didn't see a whole lot of life, but I find that to be fairly typical in areas with dense populations. We did find a handful of the usual suspects though. We found some really cool structure, underwater caves and swim throughs, but the footage wasn't able to capture anything exciting with the bad vis and all. I find these videos the hardest to edit, underwhelming footage with bad visibility. Not a great combination to hold one attention. I can, however, assure you this spot is worth exploring. From there, we made the swim over to Brandon Island. Visibility had improved slightly, but the area that we explored was even more lifeless than the last. In all fairness, the day was getting late, so we didn't stay for long. So don't be too quick to write this spot off. Brandon Island also had some cool structure, so I'm looking forward to checking it out in the future sometime down the road. In the winter, the algae dies off, which generally translates into cleaner water, which makes lifeless spots with cool structure worthwhile. We did a few drops on a marker, but didn't see anything exciting, so we finished things off with a couple drops at the pier. Okay, so it's not Argonaut Wharf, but there was a decent amount of life growing on the pilings. Swimming through pilings is loads of fun, so I come back here again too once the visibility improves. just finished up our dive. It was a really cool spot. Unfortunately, the visibility didn't hold it down. That algae bloom's kicking in, so rest in peace on our visibility until 2022, I guess, later in the year, in 2023. Uh, but it was a fun winter. Looking forward to spring. Uh, the fishing's gonna be opening up pretty soon. But yeah, I'll definitely come back here again uh, next winter when the visibility's a lot better. Some really cool swim-throughs, very similar structure to James Island over there. Uh, thanks, Cal, for the dive. And I'm not sure, maybe I'll get in tomorrow. If not, hit a punching bag and try to get back in shape. 
Third time's the charm. Sailor. Stump. Sire. Zai. Hey, buddy. I didn't get back in the water, nor did I smash a punching bag, but the family and I got some outdoor time at Neck Point. Neck Point is located in Nanaimo, and it's a great place for outdoor lovers to explore above and below the surface. What they say about kids is true. They sure do grow up fast. A sailor at sea. Thanks for watching everyone. I have a lot of fun trips planned out for the months ahead. Life's been a bit busy lately, but hopefully some longer vids will be pumped out soon. Peace and love everybody.